I'm John White. Today we're going to be talking about some things that you can be doing in your garden, and especially if you've had problems from ne nematodes or you think you might have nematodes. Nematodes are microscopic roundworms. You can't actually see them with the naked eye, uh, but they do infest the root systems on a lot of our garden plants. And if you've ever pulled up tomatoes and found large knots on some of the roots of your tomatoes, then you do have nematodes. And nematodes are very, very hard to control. Uh, chemically, there's a virtually uh, nothing available to the home gardener as far as a chemical control for nematodes. So some of the things we need to look at is the incorporation of organic matter into the soil. If you can build up the organic matter of the uh, garden soil, that will help to keep some of the nematode populations down. Uh, one of the things that we can do is the use of a uh, plastic sheet, and this is called soil solarization. And uh, we have for demonstration purposes here, it's kind of windy today, we have a little front moving through uh, southern New Mexico, but we have black plastic and clear plastic. A lot of people think black plastic is the plastic to use because it's black in color, absorbs heat. But what black plastic does is absorb the heat just on the surface, the color absorbs the heat but doesn't actually allow it to go into the soil. Whereas with clear plastic, the sunlight goes through the plastic, heats the soil up much like you would if you were in a car on a summer day with the windows closed. It builds up a tremendous amount of heat in there. And uh, same thing we're doing with the plastic here. So we want to seal it on all edges, let the sunlight um, start heating the soil up. We'll put a soil thermometer uh, underneath the plastic so we can Monitor the temperature, uh, should get up to between 120 and 150 degrees under that for the purpose of killing off nematodes and weed seed and maybe potentially some other disease organisms that might be there. Uh, we like to, you know, get some good 120, 150 degrees uh, for a period of about a week and uh, this will work on the soil probably around three to four inches deep and then you'll need to lift the plastic off, turn the soil so that the deeper soil's on top and the stuff you just cooked is on the bottom and then seal it back over and recook it again. And that way you can have a, some success on keeping the nematodes cut down. Uh, you know, try and use resistant varieties when possible. Uh, helps quite a bit. And again, the additional organic matter is something that the, will help to keep the nematode populations down and also will um, help the crops that you're trying to grow because it'll help to keep nutrients in the soil. It'll uh, help to keep moisture in the soil. And so these are all things that we want to use. So um, again, a good digging process. Um, as far as the mill of plastic to use, um, usually somewhere around a two to six mil plastic is good. Uh, you do like to have, again, as we mentioned, a clear color to it, and we'd like to seal it good, and you can see where we've used the bricks around the edge here. Uh, that's holding it down, but it's not really sealing it, so we'd like to put maybe a 2 by 4 or tuck the plastic underneath, kind of put a little soil on the underneath part of it so it kind of uh, is, is sealed with the weight of the soil and then it will be heat up and build up enough heat there to, to cook the soil. So that's what we're looking at doing. A uh, small garden area like this, uh, fairly easy to do on a larger scale. If you had a large garden, uh, it would require uh, rolling some very good sheets of, of plastic out to, uh, to cover the area. Uh, again, resistant varieties are, are a good way to avoid some of the nematode problems. Um, when you're looking at your uh, plants, you want to look at the, uh, especially on tomatoes, where they have the three numbers, the VFN on them. Uh, v is the for verticillium resistance, F is for fusarium resistance, and the N is for nematode resistance. So we kind of want to work with those. So uh, again, a spading fork, we have one here. Uh, works good in just keeping the soil turned. You can use uh, a regular spade uh, to turn the soil with, a shovel. Uh, rototiller will mix the soil so you will get some of your heated soil as well as some of your cold soil mixed together so you're not actually cooking the, 
the top and then flipping it to do the bottom. So the rototiller may not be the best thing to use. So, uh, but again, we want to do a real good job of, of mixing the soil and and uh, getting that heat to work to your advantage. So whether you live in a cold climate or a hot climate, um, again, the plastic and the, allowing the sunlight, sealing it good will help to develop that heat. And so even up in the northern part of the state, the solarization process uh, will work. But the key is using a soil thermometer, uh, run somewhere about 10 bucks. Um, again, you don't want to push it into the full depth because you just want to measure the uh, temperature in the first few inches of the soil. So again, if you follow these tips, that'll help to avoid some of the nematode problems that you see later this season in your garden.